Circuit Six Sports Talk back at you, man. Got your boy Big Chew in the building with your boy Twan, man. You know what's up, man. Been a couple of weeks back, though, man. You know, had to get the schedules right and things of that nature, man. So, uh, Big Chew, what's, what's going on? What's going on, man? Hey, man, I was just going to say the same thing. See, uh, we was uh, speaking to each other within our minds. Yes, What's sir. going on with your old uh, Twan, the principal? I am Big Chew, the Bus Down King. The Bus Down King. And, man, the Super Bowl was, hey, what? What you thought about the Super Bowl, man? Cincinnati and uh, L.A., the Rams. Do you want... Do you want my coach talk, or do you want me to say what I really think? I want, I want what you really think. Well, first of all, the Rams should have lost because that ref screwed over the Bengals on that ticky tack call with the, uh, Wilson. And, uh, the whole and, call when he was on cup. Yeah, and on cup because he was just mad because he thought, well, it got to be holding if that linebacker uh, covering the triple crown or or receiver. It got to be holding. Which it nah, was, it wasn't. It, that was it bad wasn't. Call, bad Cause call. if that it it would have been third. No, that was that, third that, that, that was third and goal. And it would have been over. That they was that, that was that was third. That gave him a fresh set of downs. And then after that, after the fresh set of downs. Matthew Stafford threw the ball out of bounds. So imagine getting the fourth down and kicking the field goal. Exactly. Or going for it and don't get it. That call, yeah, it, it affected it. But it was a lot of calls in that game. I mean, they could have went either way. When T gets caught the touchdown pass on Jalen Ramsey, he clearly – yeah, the refs. Face master, man. Yeah, the refs that was, didn't that see that. Now, nah, if a defensive player would have done that, they would have been all over him. I oh, mean, yeah. all over him. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. But, you know, I mean, you know, that's the nature of the game. Some calls are missed. Some calls are made. Sometimes they feel like they have to make up for calls. But that's neither here or there. I mean, it was a hell of a performance by the Rams' defense. Yeah. Now, if we want to talk about the reasons why the game was won and lost, we got to get into the X's and the O's, and we got to go into the trenches. Six sacks. The offensive line of the Cincinnati Bengals knew what they was up against. Yeah, they knew. The coaches yeah. talked about it. Right. The coaches say, if we can't block these guys, we're not going to win this game. We're not going to win. And, I mean, Joe Burrow, he did the best he could. He got sacked That's seven times in, in his game. Yes, he did. On Von Miller and on Aaron Donald, and that defense kept getting closer. They kept right. closing in. He started um, seeing ghosts. He started he he started hearing the footsteps. No, no, no. He, I don't think he rattled him. It didn't rattle him, but that last hit, when you see his, um, his ankle got rolled up, I mean, it happened. he ain't been the same. It happens. It happens, you know. I mean, Odell got, you know, Odell messed up his knee. Yeah, you know? I was feeling happens. bad for Odell, but I'm glad he got a ring, and I'm happy for Aaron Donald and the Donald family. They got to celebrate. I mean, this might, Donald, it was talk about Donald going to retire. We don't know. We still got to see. Now, that's, I'm going to say that's about, in my mind. Donald want that contract. And I don't even think he got to go into the retirement. Nah, he already got a big contract. He done has paid, dude. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you, my brother. Donald want another contract. Aaron Donald wants another contract, man. They just signed him to him. Aaron Donald wants another contract, man. Oh, they just signed him to him. I'm going to let you think what you think. And I'm going to tell you what the real is. That man don't want to retire. That man wants more money. Even. He, man, he won the money, he won the three uh, three defensive players of the year. He got a ring to cop it off. He got ninety eight career sacks. Like hey, what else can you uh, ask for? What else can you ask for? And Donald ain't old. And Donald, it, I know, but he plays defensive tackle. What does that mean? That's a lot of car wrecks on your body, Tom. Yeah, I. Right. And Donald just want more money. Man, that's, man. And I don't knock him though, bro. That's I, a, I, I don't man, knock him. Hey. You are the catalyst. Of the defense that won the Super Bowl. Torn, now you so, stop playing. You know he's a defensive tackle. That's a lot of car wrecks on his body. You know that. He still got some years left in him. But we don't know that. Even though he's showing no signs of slowing down, but we don't know how he really feels. That's just yeah. coach talk when he's like getting in front of the camera and, and saying, yeah, hey, um, what's up? Trust me. 
Well, well, why he ain't um, announced that at the Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm coming back next year. Why he ain't say that? He ain't supposed to. Got to give us some Tom time. Tom Brady, when he won, yeah, we'll be back. Brady and Donald, you can't even compare the two. You can't, you can't. As far as the retirement talk goes. Come on. As far as the retirement, what do you mean? See, there you go. You come up in here and playing. You know damn well if he had plans on coming back, they announced that if they win the Super Bowl because they um they living off the high. Yes, I'm coming back. They got to give us something to talk about. And then you got to think. Aaron Donald need time to think. He might be contemplating oh. it. He might really be contemplating oh. it. Who knows? He, he go again, y'all. Who knows? He coming, he coming here doing this foolishness. He knows. But look, squash all that, man. Squash all that. Is he one of the Congrats. greatest defensive uh, uh, linemen? Is he one of the greatest defensive linemen of all time? Yeah. Of course he is. Is he, okay, is he better than J.J.? Would you put him ahead of J.J.? I wouldn't put him ahead of J.J. He's now ahead. why? Because J.J. has been more productive. Okay, J.J. White been hurt for the last three years. So? Okay. I mean, J.J. White been hurt way more than the last three years, if you want to be honest. Well, he... The last time he was held it was 2018. Shit. I'd probably say 15. 18, he had 16 sacks. I said the last time J.J. Watt probably was healthy, fully healthy, was probably 14, 15, to be honest. Yeah, but people are telling me that Aaron Donald is uh, better than J.J. Nah. That's the, that's the opinion. Nah, nah, you can't, you can't. no, it's millions of people telling me that they all in my inbox. Yeah, yeah, Aaron Donald got a ring. Yeah, JJ don't got nothing. Well, JJ was on a team with no quarterback all those years. Yeah, Aaron Donald got lucky. His organization wanted nah. to win. They traded for nah, uh, Jared he, Goff he, he, he for Matthew Stafford. He didn't get lucky. He just, well, he did get lucky. He got lucky that he didn't get drafted by the motherfucking Houston Texans. I tell you that much. I tell you what. Because they not going to win nothing with the way they run their front office. That's why I'm glad J.J. got out of there. Because at least in Arizona, he got a shot. Arizona ain't going no way either. They got some controversies. They, man, hey. What's, well, up see? With, what's up with Kyler, man? Yeah, you seen that? That's what I'm talking about. See? You see what Deshaun got... Watson started? No, now, no. Deshaun no, Watson got everybody no, no, want to uh, quit would... their team. I wouldn't say it with Deshaun. You see that's, how he started? That's, no, 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 no. That's some internal things that we don't know anything about. Deshaun yet. Watson opened that gate. No, he if did If you mad, not. you just erase. You you get on Twitter. No. You get on your social medias and get the whining and, and, and erase the team um, off your uh, Instagram. This is what you said. You're talking about a man that is being accused of 20 some odd sexual assaults. But he... Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. We're talking about a man who wanted to be traded because he knows his owner was a piece of shit. I'm the star quarterback. I am the top... I'm, I'm the man. All, I'm not. I'm not saying, hey, include me in on these decisions. I'm not asking y'all to do what Aaron Rodgers did. All I'm saying is, give me a heads up. At least ask me what I think. At least, at least, at least, say, come ask me. That's what began him wanting to be traded. You can't What's tell. The, no, no, no. We gonna speak the facts here. You stop it, Tuan. You know, no, know damn well no, you can't no, tell no no, no, no old white speak person the facts that's, right that's now. worth billions of dollars that's over sixty years old. On tell him how to run his organization. You know damn well you can't do that, Tuan. You know that. See, you come in here playing. You come. Sean Watson wasn't trying to tell the man how to run the organization. All Watson wanted was a little. Not even input. Just let me know what's going on. I ain't gotta have no input. Just let me know what's going on. Well, Cal Why do I gotta go on social media and find out that I got a new general manager? Cal McNair. Now answer that question for me. Why did this man have to go on social media and find out that he had a new GM? Because they forget they general so manager. So if, if, if you was a quarterback and you went on so you you had to go on social media to find out that you had a new GM. Would you want to play with it for that team too? Hey, or would just, you? Or would you have? Would you take a Deshaun Watson stance? 
Now, come on now. Right. No, 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 no. They just gave me 75 million. I don't give a damn what the they just gave me. I love the text. So, so just because they just paid, just because they, so, cause they just gave me 75 million dollars, man, they could treat me like shit? Nah, they can't, but. Fuck but look, them and that money. You got to, come on now, you got to stand for something. You're going to fall for anything. But, but, but now you kind of do yourself, because that's the same thing he did. He said, I love the Texas. I ain't going nowhere. Until Soon they treated until until he found out on social media that he had a new gym. That was an emotional move he pulled. Come on, man. Oh, man. This because they ain't they didn't want to hire the um the offensive coordinator you want or the head. That's coach. not no it was that that was not it. We all know what we it know was. what it was. Cal McNabb told him that hey Cal McNabb ain't tell him shit, that's what the problem no, but, was. The, he told the man nothing. The initial thing was, hey, we're going to get you your are, insight. If you are my star We're going to get your input no, no. on who we should hire. I want you to be part of the process. No, no. Then when it got to the process, they never let him know what was the process. They never let him in on it. After hey, that, So would you want to play quarterback for a team that did that to you? At 21, I was like, no. I don't want to play that because I want to know. That's all I'm saying. I want to know. No, because you got to think. We dealing with all kind of systematic racism. We dealing with all kind of politics. We dealing with all kind of things. But it's not Cal McNair. It's Jack Easterby. Somebody got to get Jack Easterby out of there. I don't know. He got a magic wand over Cal McNair. The same Jack Easterby that you just said was one of the greats a couple weeks ago. No, I said Nick Casario. Mm, are you sure? I said, Nick Casario, <laughs> see, you trying to get me in trouble with these people. Ah, I'm just trying to get you I'm, to tell these people what they want to hear. I'm trying to tell y'all, he got a real vendetta against Nick Casario <laughs> and the Texas organization because his Steelers is not going we nowhere. Gonna, we gonna, we, we, look, we his gonna, Steelers not going nowhere. We're going to let you think what he thinks. We're going to pay a couple bills and we'll be right the back The only thing they got is T.J. Watt. <laughs>